Hello, I want to talk today about prayer. Why? In the current situation, I suspect that far more people than usual are focusing on prayer. We all feel we need God at this time, even if we don't feel the same need when things seem to be going well. I want to think about when we should pray. When, the simple answer is that we should be praying all the time, always, especially as we are busy, usually. John Wesley reported that I have so much to do that I spent several hours in prayer before I am able to do it. Do we do this? I'm pretty certain that I don't. Sometimes I forget that I should be doing this and I just get on with life. Is this a good idea? No, because in every situation, whatever we are doing, God is actually there with us. So we should remember that and deliberately include him. I pray enthusiastically when things aren't good. When I'm afraid, when things aren't going well, I want to feel that God is with me. Of course, he is, but I want to engage with him. I want reassurance. It makes me feel that there is someone in control, especially when I'm not sure that I am. The almost obvious time is when I'm in a plane and there's turbulence. I know that turbulence doesn't generally make the plane fall out of the sky. But I struggle to believe this when I am in that plane. However, when I pray to God, even if the plane doesn't immediately stop bouncing, I'm aware that even if I can't do anything about it, God can and he is. I'm praying a lot at present. COVID-19 is scary. People get very sick and even die from it. Do I have any way of preventing it affecting my community, my friends, my family, me? No, I don't. Only to a very limited extent. Anyway, I can follow the rules and encourage everybody to do likewise. I can't cure it. I can't prevent it. I can't even treat the illness. And I'm over 60, so I can't officially join the help situation um, actively. Everywhere there is a great deal of fear and uncertainty. Is God going to perform a miracle and make Covid go away instantly? Maybe, but whether he does or not, I am praying really hard that he is intervening and I'm sure that he is doing that and he knows which way things will go and he's guiding those who are seriously able to do things to help in the right way. Intercessions are clearly what we're talking about here. Although, of course, God always knows already what we need. So why should we bother to ask? Catherine Marshall says that God insists that we ask, not because he needs to know our situation, but because we need the spiritual discipline of asking. Of course, there are lots of times when we should be praying. Do you always remember to thank God for all his gifts to us, for all his loving care, for making the earth, for making our community, for the friends and family we have, for everyone in the world? Sometimes I'm very quick to take God to task. Why isn't he doing whatever it is? But we are often much slower to say thank you even when things work out wonderfully well. I'm sure that there are times when God is really grieved that I receive his gifts, support, rescue from something and go happily on my way, thinking unconsciously that I've done it all myself. I am sure nobody else ever does that, of course. Do we remember to pray for others or are we too preoccupied with ourselves? These days, I try to greet everybody I see in the streets, keeping a safe distance, of course. Sometimes people ignore me and I feel hurt. I try to pray for them anyway. Maybe they're worried. Maybe they're having a bad time. Maybe they're thinking of something else. Do you remember to pray at the present time for those people who do jobs that we often don't notice in normal times? For example, at the checkout in the supermarket or emptying the bins. These jobs have to be done and maybe now is the time to pray for those who do them. We should also thank them personally, of course. 
it can be hard to remember all those who need our prayers. We can just do our best. God knows about the others that we have forgotten and he will understand that we mean them too. Of course, a list does help. Do we always come to God to ask for forgiveness when we have done or not done something? I'd love to be able to say that I always do, but I know that I don't always want to admit when I'm at fault. Who does? Sometimes I catch myself saying, I did something bad there, but nobody knows. So provided I don't do it again, I'm fine. Then I remember, or God reminds me, that he knows. If nobody else does, he is, of course, like a loving parent. He knows and is willing to understand. He's willing to forgive us and to help us do better next time. He wants us to come to him and admit what we've done and to tell him and really mean it that we will try not to do it again. Then we can move on. I know that if I don't admit it when I've done wrong, the wrong feeling certainly doesn't go away, but it keeps on nagging away at me. I could go on about this for a long time, but I want to finish now with a quote from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks for all circumstances, for this is God will for you in Jesus Christ. May God bless us all in these times and forevermore. Amen.